vamos tarea gira. Hello, dear friends. Uh, I'm Pietro Ameglio. I'm sharing with you from Mexico. I'm a professor from the National University Autonomous of Mexico, the UNAM. I am member also social activist of Peace and Justice Service, CERPAG. It's a non-violent organization of Latin America. Uh, I've been also working in experiences of civil resistance in human rights, in ecological struggles from many decades. Also, I've been working in popular education and autonomous education in Indian communities. And we've been also part from 2011 from the Peace and Justice with Dignity movement of families of disappeared people in Mexico that started in 2011 with a very large and big uh, social movement of thousands and thousands of families of people that have been murdered or disappeared in this very bad named drug war that is crossing all our lives in Mexico and that in the last 10 years it has more than 42,000 disappeared people in numbers of the government and also more than 2,050,000 people killed. Uh, in my Spanglish I would like to share you something about this deep experience that we have been having for the last three years in the non-violent Catholic initiative, a, a group from all parts of the world of people that share the Christian faith and a commitment in war and peace building zones. And I think it has been a way of trying to recuperate the prophetical root of our church. It's very important to to search this way that the church and also other churches can speak to the world and say not more with just war, we need just peace, just dignity. We need a kind of peace that it's not the same as security, that it's the big trap we have in Mexico and in many other countries of Latin America and the world that they have convinced lot of people that we only need security even if we don't have any human rights and justice and social justice. That's a very big lie that justifies the big business of militarization, of terror, of the war spiral. So I've been joining this initiative and learning very much and sharing with all parts of the world because We need that this moral reserve that has been the Catholic and other churches, Christian and not Christian in the world and in history, recuperate this force, moral force as moral reserve of societies and say stop to power and say stop to all kind of economical and war interests and be close to grassroots people that are searching real peace with justice. In this sense, in non-violence, uh, their moral reserve is a very strategic uh, non-violent weapon. And also, especially, hierarchy of churches that have a social force in society that must be used to stop all kind of injustice. And we know that power Uh, changes his actions when they see this moral force in the street, this moral force in actions that have to do with non-cooperation and civil disobedience also, because non-violent actions must be in proportion with violent actions. And violence in, for example, Mexico is very high. So we can't stop that only with marches and uh, meetings we must try with other kind of actions 
and in this sense an encyclical is a very real moral weapon, non-violent, that we can use for showing how church and his hierarchy also, because grassroots are always there, is in the part of peace and justice. So let's be together and struggle for a more prophetical and clear church in just peace. Thank you. Goodbye.